organization and the state taking this on? Well, you know, look, there's, I think every reform organization is in support of it, but it is our top political priority. The League of Women Voters works very closely with us. Um, there are other reform groups too, you know, they work on work, uh, move to amend. I meant all the three district. But, yeah, what I'm saying is that I think every reform organization supports it, but certainly we've been the organization that's actually shaped the legislation and talked talk to the legislature. I, I work very closely with Dale Schultz, Tim Cullen, Dave Hansen, uh, Mandy Wright, the lead legislators on this stuff. So that's kind of what the, that's kind of what we picked out. As, and you know, my organization, just so you know, uh, we are nonpartisan. Uh, I have six Republican board members. I've got seven Democratic board members. I mean, we're, we're truly bipartisan. And the Republicans are fiercely for this, too, because they understand that, uh, you know, this could be done by Democrats. I mean, it's just not fair to the people. So, uh, and we've all been to Iowa. We've all seen how the system works there. And that really is the model. Well, even if there's yeah. change, they wouldn't be very much change from every ten-year period. No. I mean, it might be. Well, during the ten-year period, there's no change. Right. Yeah. But no. If, well, if if we did do a, redist a, a redistricting process with the Iowa plan in place, it would be vastly different from what we have now. I mean, it would be vastly different in the sense that the the Iowa districts would look would different. Be, the yeah. districts would look different. Yeah. You know, the legislative districts. Uh, but communities would be together. You know, Beloit would be a district. Sheboygan would be a district. You know, what they did in Racine and Kenosha is particularly pernicious. Racine and Kenosha it used to be Racine County, the city of Racine and its suburbs and its uh, rural area, and Kenosha County, same thing. Both were very competitive state senate districts. What they did was they put Racine and Kenosha together. If you know about Racine and Kenosha, they don't really like each other very much. You know, they're very different cities. One's Kringle and one's uh, Linguini. You know, it's, it's it's a very different type of. Uh, and, and then, but what they've done is they've also packed in all the Kenosha and Racine exurban areas together to make a safe Republican district. So now there's no there's no choice really for the people there. The other thing I didn't mention, I just want to mention quickly, legislators who don't have competition whether they're Democrats or Republicans, they are less responsive to you. They don't care. They could care less. If you don't agree with them, too bad. And that's true of both parties, by the way. Competition is good. Competition is good because it keeps your legislator responsive and they care about what you think. When there's no competition, they could care less. So that's, you know, that's pretty important. And that's actually the reason to do it. You know, that's really the main reason. You want your legislator responsive to you. You know, you want to be able to be able to talk to them, even if they don't agree with you, and they will listen to you respectfully. A lot of people won't even schedule an appointment with you if they don't agree with you. That's how bad it is, Mr. Russell. Tim Cullen, and Dale Schultz are your lead allies in the Senate. They're both and Dave Hansen. And Dave Hansen. They're oh, we, oh, they're, they're all. Believe me, there's others who are going to step up when they, you know, are, there's a lot of folks who will step up. Okay, I just wanted, yeah. wanted to make sure that no, no. that we weren't losing the last no, 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 the no. last warriors for the cause. No, no, and I, you know, and actually, I think every everybody who's elected uh, as a Democratic senator will be very supportive of this. Yeah. We'll yeah. get them. But there's other folks who will step forward. Get any primary Republicans lined up? Uh, well, you know, I think there are Republicans who, when looking at this, are going to take this as an issue. Uh, I, I know that Mike Ellis used to be pretty big on campaign finance yes, reform. Yes. How does he stand on this one? Well, he is, uh, he's one of those secret guys. Okay. <laughs> Ellis is not, you know, I, I, I've worked with Mike Ellis for 10 years, very closely. We had a dinner to honor him and Russ Feingold in 2005 in Milwaukee. Uh, he's fallen a long way. Uh, you know, I, one of the great disappointments uh, on so many issues of, of political reform. So, uh, but that happens. Anything else? You should actually, you know, I encourage you to be optimistic. <laughs> Pessimism gets you nowhere. Seriously. Okay, there was a question in the back. Well, yeah. I just wanted to ask. Yes, sir. About, about the uh, Eau Claire leader telegram. Yeah. yeah. You're, You're with us. Any contact with them? Yeah, Don Hipshire. Yeah. Yeah. He's for it. He's with us. Okay. We're doing a uh, we're doing a, a forum on April seventh in Eau Claire on this issue at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. 
I invited seven legislators, four Republicans and three Democrats. None of the Republicans are going to come. And they're all invited, but none of them will come. The Democrats will be there. But, but, but Hipshire, I've been in touch with them. He's going to come. Can, yeah, if I yes. can have the last uh, comment slash question. The other thing, when, when we are talking to our community newspaper editors and other newspaper editors, uh, my sense, and uh, you react to this, is the one thing we should stress is that competitive race angle. That there will be many more competitive, hard-fought political contests when we have redistricting that's truly not partisan. And for newspapers, that means revenue. Yeah, that's right. So when you're talking to the newspaper editors, be sure to mention, I mean, you got to be really uh, blatant and say it means more money for you to have competitive races. But other than that, just make that competitive. And by the way, race Channel 3 is very much behind us. It would be for some of the same reasons. I mean, oh, am I kidding. right or wrong? No, of course it would be. There, okay, would, yeah. there, would, be, there would be some of that, of course. And Neil but, but been very good. good. Pardon me? Neil Heinen's been very good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very, very, he's been very yeah. good. He would, he would be anyway. I'm just kidding yeah. on being yeah. about, about, the, about the revenue part. But competition is good. I mean, it just makes you a better legislator. I mean, you really, it really is. And I know I worked for a, a member of Congress. We only, we, you know, we never won more than fifty-one percent. Boy, we cared about what everybody thought. We got back to them, and that's what you want. You want somebody who's going to be on their toes. So. Thank you all. For Thank coming. you. Like, um, do you want to stay for